So would somebody like to volunteer to be the first one in 2024? This is our first meeting through Zoom in this year. I just came back from being in India just a few days ago. And we're going to have these meetings every Thursday throughout February. And then in March, I'm going back to India and I'll be in Rishikesh having meetings every day. So volunteer to describe what happened in this meditation. Okay, Atma, go ahead. the beginning um they came um emotion um something like sadness or i was touched because um i realized more and more um what are my preferences are and there's more and more this um this um this pull and more focus and that that um, touches me um, because I realized, and then um, I come back to my body, and um, um, I feel such a calmness, and yeah, sometimes thoughts, but um, that was not so. It was okay. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> that sounds very positive. I'm very happy to hear what you've just said. Actually, oh, I need um, I need the sound to be turned up on my computer. Sorry. <clears throat> so I mean, with with this. This perception and this situation, Atma, then you have a great chance now to maintain that. So when you find a lot of thoughts are coming, you can pause, can just pause. And if it's very strong, then you can pause and close your eyes. But if it's not very strong, just pausing uh, can be enough that you can come back to what you've just described. So this is a real opportunity for you now. And after being in India for a long time, I think you're ready for this. And you've got this wonderful new name. So Atma means the self. And she asked one of my, I invited some of my friends to come and talk to the group in India. And um, she asked one of these guests, show me the self so the next day i gave her this name the self so this is atma means the self so this is this atma is very beautiful because this is our essence this is the same essence in every human being which in in europe is normally called god but in india they use the word self so this is who we really are. This is our essence. This is our being. This is who we really are as a human being. And we're not all this busy stuff that happens in our mind. So this is, in a way, the most fundamental spiritual truth. And, um, you know, what, what we're, I'm encouraging is that people really examine how much they're identified with the mind, the thoughts coming through the mind. Of course, we need a mind for any practical functioning as a human being. We need a mind. But what we don't need is this constant attachment to the past thoughts, thoughts from the past, mem mem constantly memorizing things from the past. Instead of being simply present in this moment with an empty mind, we are constantly pulling out from the mind thoughts from the past. A few people also 
project into the future. This is less common, but some people also very involved with the future. But whether it's the future or the past, we want to be simply present. So perhaps we make this the theme for tonight. And maybe if our guests have questions about that, later you can, um, can ask me your question. Okay, good. <clears throat> Okay, so Havasi, okay. Yeah, I can say that um, since India also now in the meditation, I could feel very much the enrichment. There is a very basic enrichment feeling inside. Um, compared, not compared, um, together with um, a, a contentment. Right, right. And I feel also like more, like there is a bigger space to feel also during the day than before in the. Uh, right, right. Like, like the self is comes more close or something like this. It's right. more. It's more. Um, for me to feel, or more, I cannot say so good in English. Um, pre present. It is the. Uh, it's more present. More like it becomes bigger, or something like this. Right. Right. This very is beautiful. All... Very beautiful. Yeah. This is also how you are describing it. It's definitely very beautiful, and I think for the guests, I'd like to tell you that. Uh, Pravati, as you can see, is an older lady, and she had the courage to change her life about 10 years ago. 14. 14. <laughs> 14 years ago, she joined our community, and she gradually became the main cook of the community. She pr produces really beautiful vegetarian food every day, a lot of love. And recently in our Indian retreat, it was a three-week retreat with uh, 21 people, she was also producing this delicious food. And so, of course, she was also working a lot. So even though it was a retreat, in her case, she was also working a lot. But nevertheless, what she has just said shows the kind of value she got from this retreat and the value she's getting from living in this community where she gets support from all the other people who live here. We all support each other. Good, good. Okay, perhaps somebody else, perhaps one of the guests would like to share, and then I get to know you a bit. Damien, okay. Very nice. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, from you saying that Parvati is the cook, that um, I used to go on Channel Zen retreats, and it was said that the cook was as important, if not more important, than the teacher. It, but in a completely different form of transmission. As you said, food cooked with love. Um, and that's a, a form of transmission as well. Um, right. And how thing, was it for you in the meditation? Did you, could you explain what happened inside you? Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is, whether it's, um, I've got a full stomach after a meal and I um, had half a glass of wine. So I didn't, I hadn't dropped quickly down into this spacious um, or um, meditation. It takes me a bit longer than what this 
um, what's uh, well, it was about a, about a ten or twelve minute meditation. Yeah, so it's fairly short. Yes, it's it's short, and um, <laughs> I have to say, but I was rather amused. Um, and now the theme is the present. Is that when I saw you come on, and I could see that you were having technical problems. Um, it reminded me of when I used to go on retreats and come back, and as soon as something technical went wrong, all this peaceful loveliness inside me, like that, or one of my children would do or say something, and I would lose my present, my being in a prison. Um, so I can relate to that, and it's, yeah. Things, different things trigger us. Um, I'd be interested to know before this this meeting started, I put my two seven-year-old daughters to bed. So it's not only technical things, but also I've got two little girls in my life. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, yes. Well, I, yes. I can um, empathize. Um, yeah. Well, you don't um, have to empathize actors. because it's the most wonderful thing in my life to have at 79 years old, to have two seven-year-old daughters yes. is an enormous gift. Yes, you yes, uh, I, yeah, I do agree, yeah. But in the sense of that children can, um, well, certainly I'm doing it with grandchildren now, is that children can do things uh, with you to you that um, adults d don't and they can be the most joyous but also the most difficult or triggering or that I that's what I find I think being around with children is an incredible uh, learning experience if and recognizing how and why I get triggered by it them. Okay, so let me ask you a different question because I think we didn't meet before. How did you come to this meeting tonight? All right. Well, I've been on a couple of Zooms, of your Zooms so far. Um, I've seen your website and some of your films and your teachings. And I have... It looks like, it seems to me that yourself and your and the people who you teach and who are students and here in your community, um, in the community, um, there seems to be a lot of joy and celebration of being alive and um, as well as learning, um, which is why I, I've actually registered for a retreat oh, um, okay we're going to see you for a longer time when yeah. are you coming to when are you coming to a retreat in may, in may. Yeah, oh, good. yeah in spain yeah, yeah. right yeah. good well we look forward to meeting you in spain yeah i me too to all of you who okay. comes um <clears throat> yes um i I'm particularly attracted by the combination of the arts as well as teaching and also the lineage of Ramana Maharshi um, and the non-dual, let's call it, teachings. Right, right. Okay. So... With, um... Um, Behind I've you been, on the wall, I see you have a what looks like a painting or possibly a, a photograph. And it's a photograph. Uh, so you, photograph. So uh, in our community, we have a, quite a professional art gallery. We also have a very good mantra band who recently was playing in Ramana Ashram. And uh -huh. uh, so what you were just saying, we definitely combine to like being present with creativity. And over the years, as the community, how can I say, the average of the community got more quiet, 
I would say they became more creativity. So we've also got a publishing company and we've published many books in four different languages. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, but have you seen our most recent book? It's called Aham Sparana. It's a book yeah. of Ramana yeah. Mahesh's teachings from 1936. Yes, you have a copy, have you? Yes, I've started reading it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any impression about the authenticity? Uh, yes, I. I particularly like um, some of the accounts from both sides of the sort of colonial Raj Brits coming over and um, their accounts of what was going on. Um, right, right. Yeah. Uh, with all their baggage. Um, right. And the, yeah. And the way that Ramana um, Maharshi actually met them and was, yes, I, I, yes, I, well, now I'm here. I'll say I have enjoyed starting reading the book. I think it's very well um, produced, and the way the different typefaces and the, diff the spacing and everything makes it very easy to follow. Right. So right. I say thank you and congratulations to whoever actually did the design. Right, right. Yeah, well that's very nice okay. feedback. Thank you. Thank that you. Book. And um, yeah. if you if you read other books from us, you're gonna find they're all beautifully produced. Yep. Because being a community we put a lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of efforts into making beautiful things. So I, I think probably all mm -hmm. our books are designed in a very beautiful way, but not always by the same person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Okay. Very nice to meet you. And you. So if we go back to the gallery, would there be another guest who would like to say hello? I think as this is the first meeting in February 2024, we'll have a meeting every week on Thursday at 8 o'clock. Um, so maybe some of our guests would like to have a better contact with me now, more personal contact perhaps. I'm here for the first time tonight. Okay, just one second. I'm going to click and get you full screen. Oh, oh dear. Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah. yeah. You're Monica. Right, yes. Are you also English? Yes, I can speak English. I'm German. Oh, you're German. Okay, okay we Good. can speak English. Actually, and where where are you living in Germany? Not so far far away from Frankfurt. It's okay. About an hour by car. Okay. Yeah. Good. Actually, we once met in Baden Baden at the Rainbow Spirit Festival many okay. years ago. It was you about heard. eighteen years ago, maybe something, sixteen years ago. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. When you were Premananda, and right. I was in a, in a satsang with you. Okay. Well, you couldn't have been very impressed because it's uh, 16 years later since we met. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's not my interpretation. <laughs> that's <laughs> yours. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm on the path or however you want to call it. Yeah, I've been on that path for the last, um, yeah, exactly almost for I would say 40, 44 years. Okay, good. And so I've been sitting with some teachers, with Isaac or um, some others. Okay, do you, do you see Isaac as your particularly closest teacher? Actually, I was with Osho. 
In uh, 1980, I went to Pune for the first time. Okay. I just was 20 then. Right, but right. He was my main master. Right, right. There were, there were two others, but I would say uh, the first was <laughs> the deepest or the strongest. Yeah. And in the sitting, I mean, I, I'm, I, um, I've been practicing different ways of meditation and in the sitting we had in the beginning, um, I, I could feel some body sensations and also thoughts and, um, but more and more I felt silence. And then in yeah. the third part, when you invited to drop in more deeply, somehow the silence came more, even more to the surface. Right, right. Mm. It's interesting because I'm using the, exactly this meditation for some longer time, maybe two or three years. And I always find it a little bit funny when I say and allow yourself to go deeper. But amazingly, it has a very strong effect on many people. And they do, in fact, fall deeper in the yeah. third, third looking. Yeah. yeah. It's an invitation or a, a reminder that there is another level possible. Right, right. Mm. Yeah. But it seems that you've been on the path for 40 years and you probably spent uh, quite a few years connected to Osho because you came there when you were very young. Yeah. So, so you've obviously got a lot of benefit from meditation. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely a lot. And I still practice, you know, every morning I take the time to sit and this gives me the strength for the whole day. Right, sometimes, right. Sometimes I practice yoga as well. Right, right. Yeah, here in our community, we start the, every day with 30 minutes of yoga and then 30 minutes of meditation. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I, I do miss a bit um, having friends like I had when I had was living in ashrams, for example. I also lived in Germany in an ashram. Okay. Um, an Osho I, ashram or? Yes, yes. Okay. In, in Gießen. Gießen. Near, near, not far from Frankfurt. We had okay. a store at the Buddha restaurant. Okay, right. Yeah, with right. others. Yeah. Nowadays, I live alone. My husband died in 2016. Right. And I have two sons grown up, and I have grandchildren that I'm taking care of sometimes. And actually, I would love, very much love, to once uh, go to Arunachala, but somehow I'm bound. Um, because together with my uh, sister and my brother, we take care of uh, our 97-year-old mother and right. making possible that she can live at home in her house. That's great, yeah. Yeah, yeah where, I, where I also have my uh, praxis as a therapist and high practica. Right, right. So to get a three-week break uh, in January is not so easy. I I would have to talk to to my brother to to come along from Italy to right. be there uh, with my mother because my sister is sick also and she cannot uh, handle so well some things you know right 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 yeah and have you been to India before I spent two and a half years in India uh, within. Um, 10 stays <laughs> my first time with Osho were nine months once uh, the length of a pregnancy <laughs> oh the, your, when you were 20 you spent nine months with Osho yeah yeah and okay. then I went back to Germany and then I I, I cleared my things and I came with a one-way ticket 
wanting to stay forever, I thought. Right. But then he left Pune then, and um, I went back. Then right. we were told to uh, to do his his work in the West. Right. Right. And, and then I lived in an ashram in Gießen, where we had this restaurant. And um, and then I uh, we left the community. The the man I was with, who later on was my husband. Well, then two three years later, we had a child, and then the second came, and then we were more. We still were in contact, sitting with satsang teachers and still on the path, but somehow we were more in the family life, you know? Right, right, yeah. Committing yeah. To, to this. Also somehow, you know, committing um, that maybe it's better to first really look at yourself or or that somehow it's enough to be a, a, a small family also as a community and i can tell you that no other uh, people or uh, situations pushed my buttons more <laughs> than my children or my husband <laughs> right right they, I, well, you, I mean, you'd better come and visit our community because we might be able to manage a bit more than they could. <laughs> but that doesn't sound very inviting in a way, you know? <laughs> well, it's very inviting. It depends on, on what, what, you, what your interest is, you know? Yeah, actually, I'm very interested in look at my stuff. I mean, I've, I've been doing a lot of shadow work as well. Because right. without right. without there is no way in my eyes. Right, right. Yeah. But I mean, I think it's also okay to choose what you've chosen, or maybe it just happened. I mean, after you obviously had a, a deep meeting with Osho and with meditation and therefore also with yourself, mm -hmm. then you met a man who had similar interests, and then naturally you came together. And that led to children, grandchildren, um, and so on. Yeah. So yeah. this is a choice, and uh, it's an okay, okay choice. The people who have been um, attracted to our community, perhaps, have also at the. How can I say? They also have a an intention. Let's say that they are interested in total freedom. Yes which doesn't mean that they'll attain total freedom, of course. And it doesn't mean, as you can see on the screen, some of the people are younger and they can easily meet a husband and have children and grandchildren and go a slightly different way. I think it's okay. Mm. And what's nice for me is meeting you for the first time. I can immediately feel that you actually have a, a presence. Uh, how can I say? A silent presence. And clearly you have a connection, strong connection to your own being. Yes, yes. So that's that's very, very lovely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I I I'm looking at possibilities to come to to um to, to your ashram. I I thought maybe for a week, uh the, maybe in July or you know I, I always have to plan a bit more in advance right 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 well, you, if you look on our um, if you look on our schedule you'll find that we offer uh, three or four um, we call them volunteer weeks yeah mm -hmm. and if one of those fits with you that would be one good time to come because during these weeks we collect up people who are interested to come. So it's about eight or 10 people. And then we make a special program in the evenings so that you can meet different aspects of what we're doing here together. Yeah, yeah. But you can also come at other times. And also in, in the summer in, in September, we have a retreat in Spain for two weeks. I saw it just on the screen in, in uh, I think it's uh, beginning in, in, in the first half of September, yeah. Yeah. I saw it. This Actually, is always a powerful time. Yeah. yeah. 
Actually, I also don't like winter. I love the sun. I love it warm. I right. I I always uh, when I was in India, I always went in in winter. <laughs> right. Right. And uh, the idea to go to Spain also is is inviting for me. Right. Well, you can be pretty much guaranteed it's always got a sunny, sun shining part of the day at least. Yeah. yeah. Is it is it at the beach? Yes. Yes. The center. Mm -hmm. I mean, where exactly our house is is only three minutes, but it's not really a beach. It's a rocky. A rocky beach you can say okay. and in another part of town there's this big sandy beach so it, mm -hmm. it depends whether you like rocks or you like uh, sand yeah. but swimming is possible also where where, where the rocks are or oh or definitely it? definitely in fact it, it where our house is is in an area of a, a small town where um the area is more or less a holiday area. So most of the year, it's very quiet, except for July and August, when the families come to their houses, to their holiday houses. Mm -hmm. And the sea, the area about, I think it's about two kilometers even, is a nature reserve. So nobody can fish mm -hmm. uh, in there. So if you like um, looking at fish, there are many fish. Mm -hmm. And you can certainly get in, in the water there very easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is snorkeling possible there? Is it? Yes, in, yes, in, absolutely. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's a, in a little town. If you look at the map of Spain, there's a nose uh, it, about halfway down. There's a nose on the right-hand side of Spain, and that's where we are in that nose, a little town called Denia, mm -hmm. between Valencia and Alicante. Mm -hmm. I'll look at the, at the map and, and see where it is, yeah, later on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, very nice yeah. to meet you. We'll see and what thank happens. Thank you for meeting you. Not another sort of years. You'll be a bit too late then because I'll probably not be here anymore. Yeah, I, leave I, it another 16 years. I'm probably dead. So. <laughs> I, I will not wait that long this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's good. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you before 16 years. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, this good. year, let's say this year. Okay, very good. So there are 11 months left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, is there another guest who would like to have a meeting with me? I think there's two or three other people who I haven't met before. I don't want to volunteer you, but there's Andrea and Verona, or Verona. Would one of you like to have a talk? Hello. Yes, Anya. Okay, Anya. I'm interesting. Oh, my English is not so good. <laughs> you, if you want, you can speak in German. Because we have a translator. Ah, also ich if you speak in German, I will get it in English. Ah, ich interessiere mich für das Volontär Week, also für die uh, Helferwoche im April im, im deutschen Ashram. Ja, bei euch. I'm interested in the Helper Week in April in uh, Germany. Okay, good. Ja, also ich habe mich angemeldet und wurde auch schon ähm, zurückgerufen, dass ich... Ja, yeah, I, I registered and I also had a phone call already. Oh, good, good. Ja. Where do you live in Germany? Wo lebst du denn in Deutschland? Ich lebe zwischen Fulda und Frankfurt im Spessart, in einem kleinen Dorf. I live between Frankfurt and Fulda. In a little village. Okay. okay, good, good. Have you been to see Mother Mira? Hast du mal die Mutter Mira gesehen? Nein. No? 
Have, do you do you know? Have you heard of Mother Mira? Hast du mal, hast du von ihr gehört von der Mutter Mira? Nein. Okay. No. So uh, I I don't know exactly where she's located, but she's located uh, somewhere close to where I think you're you're indicating you live. And she's an Indian woman who's lived there in, in near Frankfurt for quite a few years. And she offers, I think every day she's offering a meeting with her. Also die lebt, glaube ich, ziemlich in der Nähe, wo du wohnst. Das ist eine indische Frau und die bietet täglich Treffen an. Okay. She doesn't she doesn't give a talk, but you can go and sit in front of her and she puts her hands on you for about 30 seconds and you can feel a lot of uh, energy that brings you more closely into your own being. Also sie spricht nicht, aber man kann ihr begegnen, man kann nach vorne gehen und sie legt dann die Hände auf deinen Kopf und du kannst dann eine Menge Energie spüren, die dich näher zu deinem äh, Wesen, zu deinem Sein bringt. Okay. Mhm. Hm. If you go on the internet, I'm sure you can find her, her location. Im Internet kannst du die bestimmt finden. Ja. Um, wie heißt sie? Dann schreibe ich mir es gleich mal auf. Mutter Mira heißt sie. M-E-E-R-A. Ist in Limburg. Oder Mother, Mother Mira. Limburg. Ah, in Limburg. In Limburg, ja. Mhm. Danke. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I've um, I've met her a few times. Yeah, she's a beautiful lady. Ich bin ein paar Mal begegnet. Sie ist eine uh, schöne Frau. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you meditate? Yes. Meditierst du? Ja, ja, täglich. Ich mache seit. Um, 2007 bin ich im geistigen Heilen tätig und seit 2005 beschäftige ich mich mit Astrologie. So I'm meditating daily. Since 2007 I am involved in um, geistige, in healing, in sort of, I don't know how you say it, spirit healing. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. since 2005 I am involved in astrology. Okay, good, good. Das kann man okay. gut kombinieren auch. Yeah, this is a very good combination. Right, right. And uh, have you got a, have you got your own uh, regular teacher that you like to go to? Have you been working Hast with some Lehrer, teacher? Du arbeitest? Ja, ja, schon über die ganzen Jahre. Die ähm, Frau kommt ursprünglich aus Deutschland, hat aber in Kalifornien gelebt und lebt jetzt in der Nähe von New York. Und die kam zweimal im Jahr hierher und hat die Kurse geleitet. Und die hat das dort in Kalifornien in einem Institut, hat die das gelernt. Und gibt es weiter, es ist ein, dieses geistige Heilen basiert auf einem ganz alten Wissen im Grunde, dass man mit dieser Geisteskraft die, die Selbstheilungskräfte stärkt, aktiviert. So, ich übersetze es mal eben, ne? Ja. Ich übersetze mal eben ein Stückchen. So, yes, all the time I'm involved uh, with a teacher. She's originally German, but she lives in California or New York, yeah, in America. Okay. And she comes sometimes to Germany. But the spiritual healing, it works on another level. And it's about that you strengthen your self-healing ability. Right, right. Okay. And are you offer, offering to the public um, healing, energetic healing sessions? Und bietest du das öffentlich an, so energetische Heilsitzungen? Also es ist so, dass das viel auch über die Telepathie läuft und 
es ist so, dass dann auch diese Energien gelesen werden. Ich habe es auch mal eine Zeit lang gemacht, aber ich habe halt auch noch meinen, ähm, ich sage immer, Brotberuf, ähm, um das Überleben zu sichern. Und ähm, die, mir fehlt oft dann die Zeit einfach. Ja, ja. So, it works ja. a lot through tele telepathie. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I also have a proper job and therefore I often don't have really uh, the time to uh, to do this. Okay, right, right, right. Okay. Also ich würde mich gern mehr dahingehend ausrichten, aber es ist nicht immer so einfach, weil das ja so unterschiedliche Welten sind, der Brotberuf und diese spirituelle Tätigkeit, ja. So I would like uh, to focus more or bring my direction more in this direction, but it's not so easy because uh, the job where I earn money and the spiritual work seems like two different worlds. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it probably is. I mean, coming back now just now from India you can feel in India the openness that ordinary people have and somehow in the daily um, simple business world of cafes or restaurant kind of life then you can feel the openness people have which makes living a spiritual life much easier But generally speaking, here in Europe, I'm actually English, but I've been living now in Germany for a long time. Um, the whole atmosphere of the society is hardly supportive of a spiritual life. Also man kann das sehr stark fühlen, wo wir gerade aus Indien zurückkommen, dass da das Leben allgemein, also die Spiritualität sehr unterstützt und hier im Westen, ähm, ja, zum Beispiel in Deutschland, dass das da sehr, sehr wenig unterstützt wird von der Gesellschaft eigentlich, von dem normalen Leben. Ja, das interessiert, ist nicht so im Fokus einfach auch, dass es überhaupt gesehen wird. Ne? Man wird mehr über die Leistung und über das Körperliche einfach definiert. Ja. Yes, it's not so much in the focus here. So here the um, performance is much more important and also the physical things yeah 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 i mean uh, i i i've been actually lived in india i think about 12 years when i was younger and now for the last 20 20 years 22 years every january i take a group of people Uh, to a small town in the south of India, and we have a retreat there. It's a three-week retreat, and it's the strongest thing that I'm offering every year. Also, ich habe 20 Jahre in Indien gelebt, zwölf äh, Jahre in Indien gelebt, als ich jünger war. Und in den letzten 20 Jahren habe ich jeden Januar ein dreiwöchiges Retreat angeboten in Indien, und das ist das kraftvollste Retreat, was ich jedes Jahr anbiete. It's always a little bit difficult to, to leave India and come back to Europe. Es ist immer schwierig, Indien wieder zu verlassen und zurück nach Europa zu kommen. Das yeah. kann ich mir vorstellen, ja. Yeah. This I can imagine. But I quite, I quite quickly get used to being back in Europe, actually. So uh, um, it's not such a big deal anymore. But uh, I certainly enjoy the... Usually I have one or two months in India every year and uh, along with the community, everybody enjoys going to India, especially as we go in the winter. You know, we go, normally we go in the middle of January or beginning or middle of January. So uh, this is rather popular. Ja, es ist auch okay, jetzt wieder hier zu sein, aber wir genießen das alle, vor allem, weil wir auch im Winter gehen. Meist gehen wir Mitte Januar für einen Monat. Das ist natürlich ja. sehr beliebt. Ich freue mich jetzt mal, dass ich einfach diese Entscheidung getroffen habe, ähm, zu euch zu einer Helferwoche zu kommen, um vielleicht auch mal diesen 
meinen Alltag hier zu Hause dann anders gestalten kann und mir mehr Freiraum schaffe für mein, meine Spiritualität. Ja. Yeah, I'm very happy that I made the decision to come to your volunteer week. So that okay. maybe also when I come home, I will be able to give more focus to the spirituality. Okay, I hope so. Yeah, good. So very nice to meet you. And we'll see you. When are you coming to the volunteer week? In, in February or later? In April. 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 Okay. Okay, good. I look forward to seeing you in April then. Yes. <laughs> freuen wir uns, dich im April zu sehen. Ja, ich freue mich auch sehr. Yes, I'm also very much looking forward to it. So I think uh, Thank you. we have uh, maybe Verena, would you like to have a meeting? Verena, möchtest du gerne a meeting haben? Okay. If you speak, you'll come onto the screen. Hello? Right? Can you hear me, John David? Uh, now I can, yeah, yeah. Ah, hello. Hello. I'm John David. Nice to see you. Okay. And where, yeah, where, hello, where are you sitting? You. Which country? Uh, I sit here in Germany, in Berlin. Oh, you're in Berlin, okay. Ich bin in Berlin. Yes. We had contact um, five years ago. Okay. A video session, uh, person to person. Oh, okay. Um, I have glimpse and my only problem I have, I don't awake. I'm waiting for God. <laughs> <laughs> do I hear? Do I hear uh, your, your uh, one of your children maybe also waiting for you? Yes, my children is a cat. <laughs> it's a cat. Oh, yes, your cat. Uh, he cries okay. for me. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, he wants uh, to be loved, and now it's a little bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, but seriously. Um, I have many clumps without meditation, without um, self uh, um, questioning about what uh, what's the I. I don't make it. Right. And um, they you have spontaneous more. awakenings, yes. do you? Spontaneous, yes. Sometimes I lie in bed, and then energy rises up, and right. there's no. I anymore. There's no There's what anymore? No, I um no um no identif identification with uh with the ego. The, fal the false eye disappears and you come yes. deeper inside to your essence. Uh yes, sir. the energy is then um there and I'm the energy or not. Verena, Verena anymore. Right, right. Very good. That's very nice. Yeah. Yes, but it's um, uh, a few days ago, I was sleeping and I was shocked middle in the sleep. There was a high energy in the whole room. I, I was uh, a little bit shocked and um, it was around my body and all. And then it was there was nothing. They had nothing. That that was it. Yes. Also, um, did you say you were sleeping? Yes, I was sleeping. You you were fast asleep, and and then what happened? You woke up, and there was tremendous energy going through uh, your I woke system. Up from, I woke up from the energy. I was like out of my body. The energy was. Uh, in the room, I, I can't explain. It was something that I never knew. It was like God is in in the room, or I, I can't explain. Yes. Right, right. And how long did that last? 
please. Um, how long did the feeling of God being in the room, how long did that last? A, a few seconds, a few hours? I mean, just a few seconds. I woke up and yeah. uh, uh, I feel, felt the energy and then it gets away. Right. And I was right. thinking about it, uh, what happened. <laughs> mm. Right. And why does it, um, um, I wonder why it doesn't happen. Right. How much must it, must it be that, it, uh, that it's forever? <laughs> you know what, it, what I mean? <laughs> so, so, I mean, this happened to you a few days ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and when was the, you were saying that you have these openings happening quite regularly. So when would the one be before the one that happened a few days ago? Uh, a few months weeks. or a few years? Two weeks. Two. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago you had something also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And do they do they tend to be just for a few seconds or do they some of them go on for a few hours? Um uh, for uh, uh, half an hour. Right, right. So, uh, so, uh, before the energy in the room, that before yeah. was half an hour. Right. And then right. energy felt slowly down. Right. So, I mean, um, is that something that you would like to have more of? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. I mean, I, probably, I mean, I don't know you, so I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm i not, uh, uh, maybe I, I can't really say anything, but what, what I would imagine is that you've got to prepare your system, your physical, energetic uh, body system needs some kind of preparation so that when this mm -hmm. happens, your system can absorb the energy because probably uh, when it happens, there's a stronger, much stronger energy than there is normally. And therefore, yes. if your body system is not adapted and prepared, your 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 system can't um, can't really handle much more energy, and therefore it stops quite quickly. Ah, okay, that's very interesting. Yes, ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So but, you, you but as you have it, as you have it so often, um, potentially this is something that um, could become, you know, much more permanent. I hope so. Right. I hope so but very you, much. You've got a job. You've got a job to do. You see, because the the thing that probably needs you to work on is the amount of. Um, how can I say the amount of connection you have to the I, you know, to to an illusionary idea of who you are. Yes. So I don't know if in your daily life you think a lot, you get a lot of thoughts, and you're very preoccupied by being somebody with a name, with a job, with a lifestyle. If you're very connected to all that, then you would need to work on that because that will be why it only lasts a short time. If we're very identified with something that appears to be true, which actually isn't true, if you're very identified with the thoughts, then this is definitely going to block any opening uh, staying more than a short time. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So, uh, in your daily life, are you somebody with a lot of thoughts? Yes, but I don't take them too much serious. I know about this, the other uh, truths, and I'm just waiting for the next opening <laughs> to answer. Yeah, but, to it, answer. But, but it seems like from what you're saying, you get a lot of openings, but they close down very quickly. So 
Yeah. If that's, I mean, I don't know you, but I mean, from what you're telling me, it seems that there, there can be a big potential for you, but to get that potential where you could be more present and living much more in, uh, in your being, you would need to um, meditate and get rid of this probably strong attract, uh, attachment to uh, to the past, basically, to who you think you are. Mm -hmm. I mean... So you think I uh, shall more meditate on the day, or...? I mean, do you meditate every day? No. 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 Uh, I did um, a few years ago, and then right. I, um, uh, I discovered uh, that openings come without meditation they are spontaneous but, but they don't stay they don't stay yes <laughs> so <laughs> there you are you know i mean you 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 could make a decision that you would like them to stay longer you'd like the silence to stay longer and yes. probably i mean i don't know you i mean um, so maybe my advice isn't completely correct but Probably, if you would start a regular meditation, you would find that there's more space for this um, opening to stay longer. Okay. Uh, I have a special question for you. Okay. I, um, when the energy rises up, there is nothing more interesting. Um, the things I, I'm interested as a person um, are away. There right. is no uh, interesting for, I look uh, uh, prime time sometimes, not interesting in this moment, absolutely away. Right. Um, I'm a little bit in a, in a sorrow if um, awakening is an interesting life. In, uh, awakening is the most wonderful paradise you can ever imagine for a human being okay don't have any question about that because you know probably when you have these openings you probably become very quiet and very empty with a lot of energy moving and you probably feel completely satisfied completely nourished in that moment is that true is that how you experience it um, what is the meaning of nour nourishment yeah. means that you you don't have any desire to change anything yes mm -hmm. the, the normal no the normal the normal life of a human being is very much caught up with desire we're always mm -hmm. desiring something so yes. I, I feel sitting on this chair is quite good, but maybe that chair over there, if I go and sit there, that will be better. Yes. And mm -hmm. if I have a piece of chocolate on the way from this chair to that chair, that will make it even better still. And mm -hmm. if I have a glass of wine, that might be nice as well, and so on and so on. So we're always, we're always desiring something different from what we have and this is because we don't feel nourished we're not really nourished inside but when you have this openings the energy is very strong and immediately for however long it happens you feel tremendously nourished tremendously satisfied and yes. probably you feel the beauty of the moment and the oneness yes. of the moment, and therefore all your desires disappear. Yes. So it is, yes. Yeah. But my sorrow is, uh, what should I do in life when there are no desires? <laughs> if it, if awakening is that desire are gone, uh, yeah. what should well, I do with my life? I mean, that... that the, the, Desires are gone is one aspect, but I mean, life is more than just following desires. So, um, uh, 
how can I say? I mean, life is not happening because you have some ideas about how your life should be. You don't live mm -hmm. in Berlin because you decided to live in Berlin, you see. Life happens, for example, in my case, I'm English and I'd been living in India and then I moved from India to Australia. I'd never been in Australia. I didn't hardly know anybody in Australia, but for some, there was some impulse not to come back to Europe, but to go to Australia. So I left India and spent five years in Australia. And while I was there, I met a woman and we got married. And later she came with me back to Europe, which happened to be Germany, because instead of going to England, I ended up in Germany. But I never decided to marry this woman. I never decided to go to Australia. I never decided to live in Germany. All these things happened to me because of because. We, I don't know the reason. Somehow these things happen because my life has a certain destiny. And this destiny has been unfolding. And one unfolding took me to Australia. Another unfolding brought me back to Europe, but not to England, but to Germany and, mm -hmm. and so on, you see. Mm -hmm. So so it's not it's not it's not that if you become uh, realized and have this experience that you have in in a few moments, if you start having this in your whole life, it's not that you then sit at home in a chair feeling, very bored because life's not happening anymore life still happens even without desire you see and then it happens in in a in a very natural way and a very beautiful way mm -hmm. okay so it would be definitely worth your while to start a regular meditation because if you do it for three months and then come to one of my retreats, we may be together can uh, create a situation where you it's not just happening for a few moments, but can happen for a much longer time. Okay. I will try. I try it for three <laughs> months and I, I will see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could also consider they're coming to one of our volunteer weeks if you have interest about me and our community because our community is focused completely on your situation mm -hmm. the people who live in the community are absolutely interested in living in their being from moment to moment yes I understand, yes. Mm. So, um, I mean, there's definitely definitely a possibility when you're having quite regular openings that you have a, how can I say, you have a strong potential to to live in the present, present moment. I hope so. Do you have a busy job? Uh, no, I'm not working this moment. Um... Ah, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but I'm here um, and this time I'm concentrated on me. Um, I have right. the luxury uh, to live for me. So, uh, um, okay. I'm concentrated on this, just on this. Okay, well, that's very good. So, I mean, if you like to put your cat in a, in a little little cat box get on a train why don't you come and spend some time in our community ah uh, it's a little bit complicated uh, I don't <laughs> to talk here in this moment um i don't know i i will try with meditation and then i will see okay good good Okay, but very nice to meet there's you. No, there's no question to see you. I'm very interested. I like you very much. And I'm um, very grateful for uh, yoga. I did see a lot of films and uh, 
uh, satsangs of you. Okay. And I have seen many others, but there is no one like you in the truth and in um, Einfachheit, uh, in, in easy, in, um, in an easy way. There's no mask. Right. Like other uh, awakened, yes. Maybe you could say what you're just saying in German and I get a translation because I don't quite understand yeah. what you're saying. Okay. Soll ich sagen? Ja, yeah, um, sag mal, ich kann das übersetzen. Hallo. Uh, ich wollte sagen, also ich uh, bin sehr dankbar für seine Arbeit, weil ich habe viele Erwachte gesehen, also viele Videos, uh, Satsangs und so weiter. Und ich habe bei ihm das Gefühl, er hat keine Maske an. Es ist sehr einfach, sehr uh, Wahrheit. Es ist nichts Besonderes. Das ist das, was ich auch erlebe, wenn ich Öffnungen habe. Und das habe ich eigentlich bei ihm, ich kenne natürlich nicht alle, aber bei ihm am stärksten gefunden. Und deswegen bin ich so dankbar, dass es ihn gibt. Ja. So, I've watched many different satsangs, but I have to say I'm especially grateful um, for yours and the simplistic and um, the simplistic and easy way that you can communicate these things. And also, I feel you're not wearing a mask, whereas many other satsang teachers, I feel there's a mask there somehow. So okay. um, what you are saying deeply resonates with me. This is exactly what I experience also in my openings. Right, right. That's very good. That's very good. So when you now are, are not working and you have some time, maybe, maybe you can... Uh, plan to come and visit us. I'm here for the whole of February and then I'll be going to India in March, back in back in April. Um, so you're very welcome if you like to uh, arrange something. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Good, good. Well, very nice. You're a lucky girl having all these openings. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. But you'll be even more lucky when you can keep them a bit longer. Yes, forever. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> forever and ever. Yeah. Ever and ever, yes. <laughs> okay. Would somebody else like to uh, have a talk? I think we'll go on for another 20 minutes until 10 o'clock. If you have to leave the meeting, it's also okay. But we started a bit late. Oh, I'd like to um, talk to Hanuman, maybe. Uh, can we have some translation from Julia? Would you like to talk, uh, Hanuman? Julia, can you talk to Hanuman to... Hanuman, I могу перевести, если ты хочешь поговорить. Классно, классно. Здравствуйте. Hello. Hey. Привет. Привет, Дэдди. Hello, hello. And how are things in Tripilia? Как там проект? Как там в Триполе? Цветет и пахнет. Все все хорошо. All good. Очень, Lots очень непросто, непросто, но мы продолжаем. Easy, but we are keeping, keep going. Okay. It's pretty cold at the moment, I guess. Там, наверное, очень холодно. У нас хороший котел. We have a good heating. У нас есть запас дров. We have wood. Есть у нас еды. Are you are you fishing on the ice? Ты занимаешься рыбалкой на льду? Нет, я. No. Мне это не интересно. Я не рыбак. It's not interesting for me. I'm not fisherman. <laughs> okay, very good. Мне, нрав... Мне нравится наблюдать за рыбаками. Uh, I like to watch them. Uh, right, I like right. to observe, observe fishermen. 
Yeah, yeah. Last night we sent out the uh, newsletter for January. Maybe you've seen it today. And we published a photo of the uh, from Tripolia of the fisherman. Yeah. Beautiful pictures. Good pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had a nice time in India this this year. We had a good time in India this year. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Our translator is getting confused. She's translating from English to English. Ah, у нас было хорошее время в в этом году в Индии. Yes, I'm a bit already confused. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. And how are your children? How are the boys? Дети сильные, счастливые. Kids are strong and happy. Yeah. Do they go to school in the village? Они ходят в школу в деревне. Нет, мы занимаемся в онлайн, потому что. Или learning online. Ah, it's online. Потому что тревога воздушная звучит часто. И, the... и дети, которые ходят в школу, их uh, ведут в подвал. Они... Uh, because of this, uh, I would say, this noise, Syrian noise, and then the, no, the kids в уб... in the school. В убежище. Yeah, Бомба kids убежище. from the school going to the um, bunkers often. Ah, okay, I understand. So the, the sirens are going because some sirens, bombs are coming. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And in the Tripoli in the Tripolia area, are there any actual bombs falling there? Ah, in Tripoli, там бомбы прилетают. Вот в этой area, в этой как бы. Мы не слышим. Мы мы знаем, что в Киев прилетает иногда. Но сейчас по Украине что-то там довольно-таки горячая ситуация. We can't uh, hear in Kyiv something happening and, and uh, in Ukraine is now hot in the moment. Мы можем right. слышать только вот эти сирены и то... We can hear yeah. only siren. Я yeah. не уверен, я не уверен, что мы их слышим. Но они... I'm not sure that we are hearing them, but people saying that they are there. Right, right. But in this last uh, two years, you haven't had any bombs coming close to you. два года не было никакой бомбы, которые рядом были после вас. Нет, ну когда бомбили электростанцию Трипольскую, было ну страшно было. When the no. When they're, they're bombing uh, 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 Tripilia power station, that was, uh, was scary. Ah, okay. right. This year, uh, more, more silence. У нас нет. У нас нет в этом. Uh, Uh, году перебоев с электричеством. In this year we don't have a, like power cuts. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Ну, ну, на дорогах сейчас говорят uh, военкоматы эти ловят мужчин и забирают в армию. On the roads uh, the, the, the men are catching and uh, yeah, catching for the world war. Ah, okay. Сейчас э, люди не всех э, люди боятся приезжать, потому что ну, не хотят идти в армию. Мужчины. Uh, now people are afraid to come because uh, men are afraid to go to military to war. I see. Right. Right. Uh, maybe I would I would just explain for for our guests that. Since about 10 or 12 years, I've had a <laughs> seminar center and hotel in Ukraine. 
отель в Украине. Outside of Kiev, uh -huh. in a place called Trapelia. За городом Триполя. And um, in the past, I had a group of students, and I would go every three months to visit them. And this seminar place and hotel is continuing through the war time. Это семинарное место до сих пор работает даже сейчас военное время. But I haven't been able to visit. Но я не могу посещать это пока. Окей, good to see your smiling face. Хорошо, был рад видеть твое улыбающееся лицо. Thank you so much, Иди. Окей. Иди. Окей, so um, anybody else like to have a talk? Maybe I could talk to Aditi. Aditi, would you like to? Ah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I guess you came back from India a few weeks ago now. Eigentlich nicht zurück. Ich fühle mich, als wäre ich nicht zurück. Es ist anders. Ja, eigentlich viele fragen mich, wie es in Indien war und ich kann es nicht beschreiben. Ich bin anders zurückgekommen aus Indien. So ist der Feeling, I'm not back. Many people ask me, how was it for you in India? But I can't describe it. Something has changed. Es right. ist Peru, Peru. Vieles läuft von ganz allein. Was war das Erste, was du gesagt hast? Es ist viel, viel Ruhe. Ruhe, Stille. Ah. Ja, in der ja, Ruhe, eine Stille. So there is Und. a quietness. Lots just goes by itself. Yeah, I mean, we had... I mean, we had a we had a nice retreat. I mean, we had a strong retreat. And I think everybody got... Uh, the benefit of becoming quieter. Ja, wir hatten ja sehr kraftvolles Retreat und ich glaube, alle hatten einen großen Nutzen daraus gezogen und sind stiller geworden. Mhm. Ja. Ich hatte noch auf dem Rückflug die Erfahrung, ich bin ja extra mit Kamal geflogen, weil ich kein Englisch weiterspreche, damit nichts passiert auf dem Flughafen. Und dann war ja die Geschichte mit den Koffern, da lief auch mein Name und ich war plötzlich von den Sicherheitsbeamten mit meinem wenigen Englisch. Ich habe immer nur gesagt, I speak a little English und habe gelächelt. Und ich wundere mich heute noch über mich. Ich war in so einer Stille, in einer Ruhe, ohne Panik, ohne irgendwas. Ich war so präsent. So on the way back, we had the situation with the suitcases, because this extra luggage was all in my name. And because I don't speak English, I especially traveled with Kamal. But suddenly I was uh, on my own, surrounded by all the security guys from the airport who only spoke English. But ah. I was completely, I was completely calm. I was surprised about myself. Right, right. Did they want to open up your suitcase? Wollten die deine Koffer aufmachen? Yeah. Den einen, das war der von der Community. Und sie haben äh, kam mal zum Übersetzen nicht dazu gelassen. Aber in mir war es auch so viel Vertrauen. Es war keine Angst, es war keine Panik, was sonst auftaucht. Nichts war da davon. So, yes, they wanted to open the community suitcase. And they didn't allow Kamal to come to translate. But I was completely calm. I had uh, a lot of trust. It was completely different like I am usually. Right, right. So it's interesting how existence gave you a chance to discover how much more relaxed you were. Ja, das ist sehr interessant. Also, dass die Existenz dir eine Möglichkeit gegeben hat, zu entdecken, wie viel entspannter du warst. Ja. Yeah. The, 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 the reality is, like I was talking to the lady from Berlin, 
I mean, life is unfolding in some kind of amazing way. So you left the retreat, you came to the airport, you had this situation, and it gave you the chance to see some of the benefit you got from being in the retreat. Yeah, that is interesting that this life that really the possibility gives ja, das zu sehen. Ne? Du kamst von dem Retreat und dann hattest du die Möglichkeit, einfach zu sehen, was für Nutzen du aus dem Retreat gezogen hast. So this ja. was very, very nice for you. Das war ja sehr schön für dich. Sehr schön, ja. Das war eine Illusion, <lacht> diese nice. Angst ist. Das so, war eine, ja. was? Eine, ja. Illusion. eine Illusion, die Angst, dass irgendwas auf dem Flughafen passiert, die Illusion ist geplatzt. Ah, so the illusion that something could happen on the airport bursted. Can you say that again, Indira? Yeah, the illusion, my illusion uh, that something might happen at the airport, yeah, yeah uh, disappeared. Right, right. Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah. And how has it been back now in Europe? Und wie ist das jetzt, zurück zu sein in Europa? Gut. Gut, uh, der Alltag ist sehr ruhig. Uh, und es ist erstaunlich, was ich schaffe mehr als vorher. Ich habe viele Klienten, aber in der Ruhe es ist es viel ruhiger geworden. Yeah, it's very good. I have much more work than before, but uh, it became calmer, stiller. Good, good. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. I think uh, we maybe, uh, unless it's somebody else, we just... So unless somebody has something they would like to come out, oh, Karen wants to come in. Okay, go on. Karen. Karen is down in our community in Spain, in the sun. Is there lots of sun at the moment? No. Today there was a bit sun, but the, the, the whole week before it was very cloudy, foggy, and cold. Okay, but uh, anyhow, it's it's it is nice. <laughs> um, for me, it is a, a similar for like uh, Aditi. So the India still has a very strong effect. It is much quieter. Yeah, and the focus is much more inside, and so the the whole the whole day, the whole activities are are quieter, which is very nice. Right, right. And I just realized that after India, I was like, I was it. I was two days in Hitov, and then I was three, four days in Berlin, and there was two days in Hitov, and then I came to Spain. So what was a lot of movement on the outside, but uh, yeah, it felt very quiet <laughs> and very, yeah. um, it felt very nice. And this is. Um, was a big... I mean, I think people watching you now can see that what you're saying and the way you look is uh, fitting very well. I just realized that behind me there is this rabbit. Right, right. You look, you look uh, a bit like I, the rabbit, actually. If I'm sitting there, it's, I have these ears of the rabbit. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah. It's very very still very strong um yeah from from the indian time it's still very strong inside and it's very nice yeah 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 good good okay so i'm going to uh, say goodbye wait a minute i go back to the to the group picture there we are okay so I think uh, I think we'll stop now. It's been a very nice to meet so many new people. 
and uh, we'll be I'll be here again next Thursday at the same time. And, and if you look on um, the Open Sky House website or John David's website, you can find our schedule. There are many, uh, many different things being offered in the next uh, two months. Um, in my case, besides these Zoom meetings, um, when I come back from India in uh, the end of March, there'll be a retreat for a few days at Easter. That would be the next uh, opportunity to meet me. And um, unless, of course, you'd like to fly to India and have, uh, have a holiday in Rishikesh. Uh, okay. Okay, so thank you very much. Very nice meeting. Look forward to seeing you again next week.